Hi Dabblers, it's Floods. Welcome back to another Floods Tube video. Today's video will be me stitching Teresa Wensler's um, wedding sampler um, and talk to you guys about this and that. So grab whatever you want to stitch and uh, let's stitch together. So I actually wanted to do this, or not this, but a chatting stitch with me video for a few weeks now, but I just either didn't feel like it or it just wasn't the right time. I was a bit busy. And it so happened that um, ever since I started this Teresa Wensler, my fourth whip, my whole stitching life has been a bit of a chaos. So I used to have a plan of, you know, different times I would stitch different things. But ever since I had a fourth whip, that hasn't really happened. So right now, or at least this month, I've just been stitching something for a few days until either I feel like stitching something else or most likely it's, oh, I feel guilty that I've been spending a lot of time stitching this but not the other things. So then I had to unwillingly pack that away and change to something else. And... I've stitched um, my three whips, yeah, each one for several days now, so this one is the only one I haven't touched in about two weeks, so I gotta, I gotta touch it, <laughs> and I don't know, I might, I might regret it that I'm stitching this one for a chatty stitch with me because... There's a lot of counting involved and depending on where I'm going, I might have to do quarter stitches, but uh, I hope whatever you're stitching is a bit more relaxing than this one. Um, oh, and I'll just show you right now I'm working on. Oh, let me see what I can see. Yeah, this column. I'm not doing any of the satin stitches yet because I haven't got the threads for it. So now I'm just doing all the cross stitch. Okay. And I thought the column area is a bit easier. And there's no... Well, there, there are some... Quarter stitches, but not too bad. Okay. Um, the good thing about me not doing many of the chatty stitch with me is that I actually have a lot to talk about. But a lot of the time, whenever the camera's on, I just forget what I actually want to say. And all the logic is just out of my mind. And I end up missing a lot of points. And I've also got JP here with me. Mm -hmm. Obviously he's not, or whatever he's working on is not in the camera. But just in case I suddenly feel like, you know, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing I can say about something. Or maybe I made a stupid comment about certain things then he can be there to stop me from being offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Always so offensive. Yes. Um, normally, like in, in real life, I'm a bit more opinionated, but I'm very shy in front of camera. Normally when I have to, when I have to do a video, it takes me at least half an hour to get started. Because I just, I keep stumble on my words. Um, if, if you don't know, I'm, 
my actual nationality is Chinese and English is my second language. Hence the weird accent I got here. I've been living in Australia for more than 10 years now. And yeah, I just, uh, well, I used to have a more American accent, but um, I guess now the accent's changed to a bit more toned down American, I'm not sure. Just, uh, I guess no more Australians getting in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, in my mind, I sound Australian, but compared to actual Aussie, no, nah, I don't. I don't think I sound like that. So still a ways off. Yeah. Have to practice. No, thank you. Good day, mate. <laughs> Good day. So um, I'm not sure whether you've noticed our channel just hit. Well, not just hit, but. It had surpassed 300 subscribers, which is pretty amazing. Although I have to admit that um, we got to 100 subscribers really quickly. So we were very ambitious at the time thinking, oh, we're going to reach 500 so fast. But I guess um, the 100 probably was consistent, like consisted of a lot of friends and families they just didn't tell us that they subscribed that's why we got there so fast but nevertheless 300 is pretty amazing and thank you so much to those who have subscribed I mean if you don't subscribe we also understand it is a bit of a weird channel because we don't just focus on one thing because we can't. We don't even focus on related things. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not really. Like you could have done cross stitching and knitting channel. Yeah, you know, at least they're kind of, they're related. Yeah. I could have done, you know, painting and video games. Somewhat related, but <laughs> Nope. I mean, hey, we're here blurring the uh, the edges between crafting and wargaming. What's the genre? <laughs> blurring the lines. Why not? So, um, if you haven't watched it, I've done a video of how I hobby budget. And I was actually very nervous making that video because whenever you talk about budgeting money spending people can get a bit touchy um but i actually received a lot of really sweet comments and it it made me very touched and it really 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 encouraged me to make more of that type of videos to, sh to sh sort of show you how I do things and I'm planning to well that's in the future I'm, I'm not sure when I'll get to it um, talk about like how I decide how many whips and what will be in my whips and also like how I determine which ones I want to buy or how I buy things. Obviously there's the budgeting component in there I've, I've already talked about, but there's also, you know, what kind of patterns I tend to go for. Um, just let me put this one away because I don't think I need to use it in a while. Yeah, I said I might um, regret doing this one because, wow, the blend. Teresa Wenzel loves blends. It is crazy. But I, I'm assuming once I get this completed, blends will not scare me ever.
So generally, I have certain reasons behind videos. Um, my previous two chatty stitch with me videos, I pretty much, I kind of just focus on my background because, you know, nationality wise, I'm, I'm a bit different from a lot of the stitches out there. Um, I have a different childhood, which means in terms of the patterns I choose, it can be different from other people. Um, so I thought by telling you my experience, it might help you in understanding a bit better um, about me as a person, as a stitcher, and also, you know, why I like the things I like. Oh, that didn't work. But um, today is a bit of a random stitch with me video oh, I didn't plan this one very well did I um, I'm just gonna talk about random things life in general because life has been interesting life in Victoria has been interesting ever since COVID hit um, we had a very rare earthquake this week. It <laughs> blew people's mind, including mine. Didn't even know what was going on, to be honest. Um, lucky uh, nothing really got damaged with our house, which was very surprising because... Our house actually pretty, not pretty aged, but aged enough. It's over 20 years. And uh, some of my colleagues did mention, oh, after the earthquake, they found some cracks. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. But um, after they said it, I looked around and I... Oh, I looked around in our house and I didn't find any cracks. And our house was not built in the best way because a lot of the structures made no sense. So I thought maybe the building quality would be subpar. Is that the word? Mm -hmm. But it seems like it's fine. And I'm going to shut up until I can anchor this. Because this is third time trying to anchor this damn thread. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. What game? The stitching game. Oh. Exciting, isn't it? Yeah. And there's the protest. Wow, the protest. I think it's still going on, isn't it? No. Eh? I thought they were gonna... No, they just arrested me. <sighs> Never mind, don't have to talk about it on the air. eventful in Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. It is uh, very interesting. Certainly did not make Victorians look very good. And it got quite violent, I think. Oh, the reason why I brought up um, we surpassed 300 subscribers was that um, um, some of my colleagues actually know that JP and I have a channel and there's this guy that sits pretty close to me and we tend to talk at work. Um, 
I told him or one of my or like my videos that are related to product reviews sort of thing tend to do pretty well and then he was joking that uh, oh, maybe uh, you know your channel should be focused on review and then eventually you get sponsored blah 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 and obviously I criticized him for thinking that because it's not why we started a channel and also no it's it's not my channel it's also got JP's content there he does wargaming and also we do like gaming and hobby together just chatting sort of chill video or whatever we want to do it's a it's a sort of free format platform um but i was saying oh maybe you should have a bit more structure in terms of you know what type of video you should do yada 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 make it like a business sort of thing anyways it so happened that um after he said that like right the day after i received an email from a company talking about i don't think it's a collaboration because i don't get paid obviously i'm such a small channel but pretty much it's it's an email about you know oh we can send you free kits or free stuff for you to review and you can make a video about our products and we're wondering you know whether you're interested so i've i've never received messages or emails like that before so i at first i thought it was a scam so i well obviously the email had links to their websites and instead of clicking on the links i actually went to google <laughs> to make sure it's it's a legit website because i don't want to get scammed so i googled it and i actually found a video on um some of their products so i went into the video and then i think okay that's probably a legit website so i went onto the website anyways and sure enough it's one of those um like chinese website selling kits i think yeah kits or mostly stamped cross stitch kits for much cheaper and you can see a lot of very familiar stuff so after that i my immediate action was to reply to the email in a very firm but not not offensive way saying like i don't want to be part of it because you know you a, a lot of these were like coffee co coffee <laughs> copy copyright breaches but um then i guess it was a bit too direct so i wrote the email in that way and then i decided not to so i actually asked them like can i say whatever i want if i decide to make the video and they replied to my email very quickly they said oh obviously we uh we would like your review to be positive but if it's not blah 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 and if you decide to make the video, you need to make sure you include our links, you do this, you do that. And I was like, oh my god, so many requirements, you're not even paying me. And it's it's a it's one of those like dodgy websites. And it it will it will be so hard for me not to say anything negative, especially knowingly it is one of those, you know websites that literally breach copyright so i was like nah, nah, nah. 
forget about it. Eventually, I just said no. I just, I can't do it. If you know me in real life, I... It's really hard for me to lie. I probably can lie. No, everyone can lie. It's just hard for me to do it. And obviously I can't I can't do it in videos. So I said no. And no regrets. It's not like you need more tips anyway. No, I mean I don't want to say it in an offensive way, but I'm not that easily bought. <laughs> I'm not that cheap. I don't I don't need to say or lie about things just to get free stuff. I can buy myself, thank you very much. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, they would also have to wait for you to finish your other stuff, so it'll probably be a few years before you get to review it anyway. Nah, I think they'll... Well, I, I mean, we didn't really go into that much detail, but I'm pretty sure if I decide to do it, I'll have to do it soon. There is no way they're going to wait for me for a few years. So you pretty much just do a review and then leave it there. You open it up, look at the packaging, look at the contents, and just go, cool. That's not a review. And how can I not talk about, we've seen these designs before. I just, yeah, I can't. Well, then it's more of an unboxing, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. It's like, I, I didn't review the contents of the box I opened that were in the holes. I just looked at it and talked about what I, what I thought of it. So I'm not saying anything because I'm trying to count. One, two. So that was that was a very interesting experience. I thought. Oh, the first quarter stitch. So intense. And um, then I had another experience. Well, it's probably my first experience having a quarrel with someone online. And that was unexpected as well. Um, so let's try it again. Oops. Maybe I can hear it. Can't hear that because I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, uh, I saw someone posting a picture of a, I guess a whip of a very, oh whoops, of a very rare kit. And I asked this person like whether, you know, she could sell the chart once uh, she's done with the project. Because, I mean, I can still find it, but it's really, really expensive. Like, ridiculously expensive. If, if you can find it on eBay. So then, she was so nice. 
she was saying like, oh, I don't, I mean, I marked my chart, um, but I'm not sure whether it's usable. I'm going to PM you and take photos of my chart and show it to you. And I was so anxious after she said it because, you know, some groups are very strict with the copyright stuff. And it's forbidden to um, like photocopy charts or like take pictures of charts and send it to other people. I mean, I don't actually know the consequences of that if you did that and go find out, uh, found out, but I actually don't want that to happen to me. <laughs> So then, I was trying to say it in the post. Oh, don't do that because, you know, it, it, it's, it's copyright breach. But um, she already sent the chart to me. So she took a bunch of pictures, included, including everything. Like the chart, the, the thread details. Everything. I mean... Because there was a lot of marking on the chart already. So technically, it, I really couldn't see too much. But still, I uh, I thanked her. And I said, uh, i pretty sure this is, um, you know, a bit dodgy. So then, I said... I'm going to delete these pictures. And, you know, that's the end of it. And I also said it in the... In the post that um, I've deleted the photos because, you know, they breach copyright. And I think she found that very offensive as if i'm accusing her of breaching copyright but i wasn't i don't i mean i don't she did it unintentionally yeah so enthusiastically helpful which is fine yeah i wasn't really being you know accusing i just wanted to make it clear that okay i didn't see it i deleted it and just in case the admin saw it they could be like okay nothing really happened like there was no transaction there so then she wouldn't have to be in trouble and i'll be fine but um yeah she got quite i get insulted she felt like i was accusing her and she deleted the whole post and she said, um, you know, I was being nice, which she was. She was really like warm hearted. Pretty much I mentioned something and she wanted to help me straight away. But yeah, the way it was a bit, you know. A bit naive. Yeah. So, I mean, I explained it to the best of my ability I guess um, and she said fair enough um, it's, it's better to be safe than sorry and then she blocked me well I guess it could go a lot worse but yeah that was my first um, disagreement online stitch controversy Stitch controversy. Yeah, I guess. So that was interesting. And I think because she blocked me, I will never be able to see her posts and vice versa. It's a very interesting month. A lot of uh, different experience. And 
Und ähm, Well, this is what it, it was not this month, but um, I guess when Victoria went through this lockdown, um, people were not happy about it, and I wasn't either, so I was a bit down. And at the time, I was watching the subscriber count of our channel and I just wasn't happy because I mean we're not so once you you have a channel obviously you want to see it grow it doesn't matter what you're uh, what you say you're like oh no it's not a about you know growing your channel but you still care about numbers so when our numbers were not growing really or like I noticed that the videos where I didn't show my face do, do a lot better than the ones I do show my face and I get a bit discouraged and then I was telling JP maybe I should just stop making videos altogether because I, I mean I'm not a confident person anyways and I also am not very uh, extroverted so maybe people just don't really care about me but he was telling me um, you know you, you were complaining about not seeing a lot of Asian faces on boss cubes don't you want to be one of those that encourage other Asians to make videos about whatever they like even though you know we're not the majority we're a bit we're part of the minority so when they see more people they can relate to it encourages them to you know do whatever that they're passionate about and I thought about it I thought yeah that's true because it always helps when you see people you can relate to right and I'm one of those weird one I don't I mean sometimes I like things that the majority likes but more often than not I don't go with trends just because I don't know it's not my cup of tea mm. not sure what I can hear but it's really windy today that's a vibrating window yep discouraged but after I talked to JP it felt much better well I can't run this channel by myself <laughs> we need the Larry stand you know draw that's what gets the people in but I I did I don't know I did realize when I review something Without my face in it, those videos do a bit better. Maybe it's because, you know, people need their stands. But I'd rather think um, it's because I try to include as much information as possible. And I try to be unbiased. I think people like being able to watch you discover about it at the same time. That's what I... Yeah, that's what I thought. Because if you... I've already built it and you're just reviewing it you know post hoc you know, afterwards you're like oh yeah it's great you kind of will forget the, the, the struggles you might have had
Especially since these things don't come with instructions usually. Oh. That one didn't. No. Can I, you had to figure it out. And that can be very frustrating. That's true. Yeah, but I'll just do whatever video I feel like doing, even though they might be a bit weird. I mean, I have a platform to be a bit creative. I might as well take advantage of it. Right? Mm-hmm. Do you know this record with me? Yes. Because they're not going to answer. <laughs> not, until the, not until the comments. No. Although I have to say, it, it is really nice to have a channel because when I go on break, when I get a get a comment, I always get really excited. And I'll... He always has to tell me when the comments are there. I never know. <laughs> JP, you got a comment. Go answer. Alright. <laughs> yeah, oh, I do. JP is not very, um... I, I have to prompt him. Well, but also, also because I have the notification. Well, I do... I, yeah, I just don't for, uh... This channel. Because I've got my own kind of uh, account that has its own recommendations. Otherwise, if I have both on, then I'll get recommendations of some real weird combination of stuff. Chinese TV show <laughs> reviews. What's wrong with Chinese TV show reviews? They're very specific. They are, they are very specific. And in the wrong language. Yeah. Yeah, so whenever that happens, I have to tell him and then prompt him to do it. But whenever I get one... Especially one of those um, like really, really nice ones. I always feel so happy. And I'm so glad to reply during my break. So leave me comments. <laughs> she loves them. I like interaction. But with videos, it's... Yeah, you, you always do something first. And then you're waiting for... For reaction it's it's a bit hard to interact but i suppose you probably don't want to interact with me in real life because i'm not like what i said i'm not the most extroverted person i'm very shy and um at work i guess our supervisor was talking about how he is um taking some of the interview ease around before covid obviously and he thought that i was so quiet and he was describing me as a walking stone because he was prompting me to ask questions but i literally just wasn't talking much and i yeah i don't know how to interact with with strangers and I get really anxious when I have to interact with strangers. So I feel like I might have some kind of social anxiety. I don't know. It's not diagnosed, obviously. But yeah. It's okay. I can still function. Just um, a lot of things are out of my comfort zone. And JP is very understanding. So when I when I tell him, "Oh, can you please call blah 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 for this?" and he'll do it if he remembers. That's the tricky part. any of you guys 
have a scientist partner or like are dating a scientist because I don't know I'm fascinated of about how scientists are all the same you know you get like different personalities in different um jobs but according to JP all scientists are roughly the same well they'll have different hobbies some have no hobbies <laughs> some have some's hobbies is their job that's very sad but yeah but the way he was describing them they literally sound the same because one one day I asked him um, JP have you thought about retiring early he was like well as a researcher you will be a failure if you retire early <laughs> so they don't they don't really think about saving investment sustainability in life all they think about is work well i guess they only want to think about things when they're at work once they're out of work they just want to chill Which I thought was interesting. But it doesn't help me, does it? Mm -mm. I have to say, this thing is actually looking quite nice. I'm pretty sure I've complained about my stitches in my videos multiple times because if you watch any of the uh, videos made by Russian or Ukrainian stitchers, you know how dedicated those people are. And they'll, I don't know, re repeat the same stitch multiple times if they think the stitching is not up to standard. So, hey, wait a second. Did I make a mistake? Did I make a mistake? Different. Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. What'd you do? Well, I missed a roll. Too much talking? Too much talking, indeed. But at, at least it's the right side. Imagine if I was stitching and then the left side was wrong. Oh my god, I'd probably cry in the video. It's not, it's not too bad, it's okay. I haven't regretted doing this one yet because it, it does look quite nice. The only annoying thing is when you have to frog the quarter stitches. They get a bit tricky. to type this it's getting a bit too fizzy so if you're wondering my current setup is actually a just the normal Lowry stand but instead of it being on the side it's in front of me and it's holding 
the Nerge or Nerge hoop that I bought. And uh, to prevent it, not prevent it, but to make sure it holds on to this whole thing very well, I wrapped the hoop with a towel. So then when the stand is clamping onto the whole thing, it won't, well, I, I don't have to worry about it damaging my actual hoop because this is plastic. So it's a bit softer and it's, it, it might wobble a little bit. And it can give when you press down on it. <laughs> now I'm happy. Yes, I'm back. From the group, from what people say in the group, apparently a lot of people enjoy um, quiet stitch with me. For me, I don't see the point. And also, I, I don't know, I'm used to talking while stitching because I tend to talk to JP anyways when, when I stitch. Yeah, we're watching something. Yeah. And I'm not, I don't think I can deal with quiet very well when I stitch. I get bored. So I don't, no, I won't, I won't be able to do quiet stitch with me. Unfortunately. And there's so much to talk about. Like, why would you just want to shut out and stitch? <laughs> and also, when I watch Floss Tube, I, I need sound because normally I'm doing something else well I guess it's just knowing that someone else is stitching when you stitch that motivates you to stitch more I don't know but that's the good thing about YouTube you can find anything you want Alright, this is getting tricky because yeah, I think I'll have to be a three quarter. Floss tube, I I found out that a lot of people like linen. Why though? I really don't like linen because it's so transparent. Well, this one anyways, and it's so stretchy. Like it's hard to get it really taut. And also, it has these. I don't know these like things with like a cotton or something that changes how big a square can be so why why do you like linen <laughs> i mean this is the cold sore fabric so i just have to deal with it <laughs> but if i can help it oh um, i will yeah 
I wouldn't want to be living. Shit, you should comment down below what you're working on right now. Are you going to put some music in the background? Mm, not sure. Should I? Maybe a little bit of jazz. A little bit of jazz. How am I going to find free, uh, royalty free jazz music? There should be some. Good old uh, Kevin MacLeod. <laughs> he must have some nice background jazz. You don't like my voice? No, I just to the point. Well, I like your voice, but you're not using it all the time. <laughs> no. That's what I'm getting at. Well, one challenge about having a channel is you have to hear your voice over and over again. Which oh, can yeah. Be, oh, oh, God. That's awful. I really hate my voice sometimes. And when you edit, I mean, I'm not... I don't hate editing. I'm pretty sure I made that point multiple times. But, man, when I have to hear my voice over and over again, oh, gee... Especially, uh, I stumble in my videos a lot, so sometimes I have to try to edit out the the empty bit where I don't talk, or if it takes me too long to get to a point, and you just have to hear your voice over and over again. It's just such a torture. I really, I really wish I'm better at talking. Most people do not enjoy listening to themselves. I think researchers looked into that. I wonder why. I don't know. It's part of a sonic dissonance where, firstly, you don't sound like what you think you sound because you're missing all that bone conduction. Mm -hmm. um, and then, secondly, you just also self doubt anything that you're saying. You think it's all, you think it's all silly stuff. It is silly though. Yeah, sometimes I'm just thinking, oh, Flo, can you just get to the point, seriously? Yay, another one. And yes, I'm still enjoying my Annie's Keepers. It is really cool. It is expensive though, compared to uh, the bobbins. But yeah, I don't, I don't like bobbins. I get really bored when I try to bobinate. And also, you have to like unwind the thread to do too much maneuvering. Just to use a color. Although it does uh, save space. But imagine if you do a haid, which I don't have yet. And it needs so many colors and you just wind, unwind, wind, unwind. Oh gee. That would be so painful. Got to love it when you have a solid color and you can do a loop method. And 
does anyone have good tips in terms of keeping your stitches neat? I'm sure a lot of you would have subscribed to uh, Cross Stitch with Luda and in her video she tends to show really close up her work and you can see clearly her stitches they are so neat I just I want to know how I mean she she kind of gives you some advice but it's very I don't know it's just it's very unclear so it's all about tension yes and it's like I know what needles to use but I don't so it doesn't really help me so if you have any um specific tips for making your stitches neat hit me up let me know comment in the comment section and uh, I'll try it out I know there's a um, real road method but you know you can't real road all the time it takes so long you don't you don't have enough time already to stitch let alone like do extra steps but if you know for sure certain needles will help let me know. Or if you do this technique, you use your hand to hold your thread this way will help. Let me know. Because I would be more than happy to try those things out. Because it would be amazing if one day I can look at my work close up and say, hmm, I am quite satisfied with how this area is stitched. Hmm, the stitches lay so so nicely. And uh, I will be so happy to show you close up. See how my stitches look perfect. Oh, that would be so good. But right now, it's pretty much just, ha ha ha, look at my stitches. They, they look like children. One day. I mean, I'm trying to improve, which I think I've already improved because I'm trying different things all the time. Which is nice. I think it's quite important to try different things. That's how you grow. Looking cool. What's looking cool? No, it's slowly getting the black. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. The contrast is nice. Yeah, once it happens. Not that you guys care, but he just showed me the model he's painting. Acronius. It's quite big, so it's taking a long time. Oh, the other. Day, um, someone commented in my video I think it's the first the very first video I've made the Lowry stand um, she was saying it's so nice that my husband understands like having having a hobby is very important um, I mean, he's always had a hobby. It's me that didn't have one, really. I mean, you, you can probably say watching YouTube, watching series, 
or like watching I don't know makeup tutorial is a is a hobby, but mm. it's not as bad as some of my friends that told me sleeping sleeping is their hobby. <laughs> it's essentially just saying I go to sleep until something interesting happens in my life. Although I. I was partial to games. I mean, I still play games. Gaming is fun. But, I don't know. I guess I guess you could say that gaming is my hobby. It's one of your hobbies, yeah? Yeah. You don't like gaming for too long. Mm, uh, I, can, I think I have an addictive sort of personality. If... If I start on something... Um... Yeah, I tend to do it for a long time, but the moment I stop, mm, I just I, it's hard for me to get back into it. It's it's the same with games. When I'm into a game, wow, I can play hours and hours onwards. But once I stop, I'm just like, Meh. I can uh, I can deal without it. Yeah, JP's always had hobbies. Yeah. And I tried his. I tried to paint, but I really didn't like it. It it makes him very relaxed, but it really stressed me out. Yeah, I get that. The, the key is to not care, but that's hard to get. Yeah. If you have any friends that are born in Asian countries, it's not uncommon for them to have no hobbies. Especially if their entire childhood was in an Asian country. Just because of the whole education system, it's very different. It's not about developing interests and personalities. It's about competing, studying. In exactly the same subject. Blending in, doing whatever everyone else does, and try to be the best at it. Out of millions of people. Yeah. I mean, that's what you get when you have a huge population. You, you need to have some kind of system to pick out the better ones. Yeah, normally when I stitch, when I can do loop method, I do loop method. Um, and then when I end the thread, I'll pin stitch. Um, but if I stitch in hand, well, not in hand, but, you know, without a frame or something, I can tuck the thread in underneath other threads so I can just flip it. Um, normally with the the most the simplest Lowry stand set up it's easy to flip it but because I've got this light clamp on the actual project it's a bit tricky so I don't want to so it's, it's very hard for me still to get to the back.
should I continue working on the column or start working on the leaves? This area has a lot of county, so I don't think I should do it just on camera. How about do another color? interesting maybe look mm. it's quite nice isn't it mm, it's getting pretty interesting how are my stitches like looking from there pretty good really yeah but i mean i'm very far away no oh. but they look pretty good to me <laughs> well, people aren't gonna get that close and then look at it on the wall been a bit of a naughty girl because um, I haven't properly been doing exercise for for a long time now I think ever since I started the channel I just feel more pressure to stitch more and when I have to do exercises it just takes the stitching time out of my life and because I'm not a very fast stitcher, I just feel like I need to stitch more to get more progress. So normally, like on, on a weekday, I don't get more than two hours of stitching time. But I've just been sort of making more than two hours by not doing other things and especially now i have more whips it just it's hard it's really hard How do you guys manage? Maybe you just like stitching mommy. It's all about stitching rather than making progress. I don't know. I, I, I want to make progress. Otherwise I feel like I haven't done enough. Like I'm wasting time or something. It might be might be a Pharmacist problem. Like you always need um, efficiency. <laughs> Multitask efficiency. I mean I'm quite excited to try different stitching method like the specialty stitches but also I'm a bit nervous because the specialty stitches in this one are done with the sort of the plasticky threads the satin threads and apparently they're really hard to use so you have the challenge of doing something new and you have to use difficult things to do those new things with
yeah I actually wanted to talk about this I completely forgot see I'm doing a video and it makes me very gotta write it down confused. I always tell it <laughs> write it down but I'm lazy Um, recently, so JP and I don't like to see doctors and I hate taking medications, even though I'm a pharmacist. I think being a pharmacist, the way you treat medicines, either, it doesn't matter what you do, as long as you feel like it can alleviate certain things, you are more than happy to take drugs. Or you're like me and until it's like absolutely necessary otherwise I will not touch pills anyway so I uh, I had blood tests recently and it turns out that I needed to take some supplements especially iron my iron's quite low and boy it's giving me a lot of grief just trying to take iron on empty stomach. And I have to say, um, before I did not appreciate when people were talking about like compliance for taking medications, but it's just such a pain. Because Ions are very hard to absorb. Um, so the doctor said three hours after food, 45 minutes before food. Even though normally with things that you need to take on empty stomach, it's two hours after food and half an hour before. So I think she just wanted to make sure it definitely gets absorbed. Anyways. And... My work schedule is quite weird, so I work, I start work late and I finish work late, and because of this iron thing, a lot of the time I'm very hungry, because I can't eat, I can't snack, and if I get up too late and I have breakfast too late, that means during work time I have to somehow find time to get out and have my iron tablet. Which was not fun. imagine if I have to take other things oh. and on the weekend JP always tempt me with with coffee he's always like oh I feel like a coffee do you want one and I'm just like I have to wait to take my own tablet and I was like I can't eat anything not helpful JP sorry Yeah, I, uh, I understand a lot better the people that have to deal with this every day. And if you take multiple medications, it gets more complicated when some drugs can interact with the other and you have to separate them by this much time. I, I do not envy them. I'm thinking I might walk to Amy's soon. Hmm? I might walk to Amy's soon. Oh. Do you want to play games tonight? Yeah, that's true. So, we actually have um, some campaigns planned. Like what I said, I do game. Um, and we play Path of Exile with some of JP's colleagues recently. So... Free game. New Zealand. New Zealand developers. Yeah, we got a... 
do what we normally do, you know, cook, walk dog, very important. So, I don't know, I might stitch a little bit off camera and start cooking. <laughs> Sorry? Stitch off camera. But hey, I uh, I did this little thing, which was pretty cool, isn't it? Hmm. I think this weekend I'll be focusing on this one. So when it's time to do my monthly update, I have, you know, some progress to show. Because the other ones, I don't know, I have this problem of once I start something, I just don't want to stop. So I can't I can't have too many whips because yeah I'll I'll go crazy because some 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 whips I'll never be able to touch if I keep going like this. Anyways, I'm I'm happy with whatever I've done. It was quite nice, and I only made one mistake and I had to you know shrug a little bit. So I hope you've enjoyed this chatty stitch with me. It's Kind of chaotic i'm just talking about whatever really here and there and that's generally how my mind works um and uh maybe the next time i see you it will be my monthly update and i will try to film it at the start of october on the weekend because that's the only time I have yeah and I'll try to give you as much information as possible um, for the monthly update because I've realized I'm very inexperienced in terms of making those videos so a lot of the time I wasn't detailed enough but I'll, I'll try to be better I mean that's that's a whole learning curve right um, until then I hope you enjoy your stitching and your hobbies and your life. Stay happy and safe. Bye.